This is not a tutorial. I'm just some guy bleaching some roses on some other guy's jeans. Welcome back to House of Slug. It's me, your boy, Toby Toad. Just kidding. It's me, Co. And today, I want to do another thrift flip. I want to bleach a pattern on a pair of jeans. Weirdly, I haven't really seen anyone doing this. I mean, it's been done. I'm not the first person to do this, but like I, it just kind of dawned on me the other day. I was looking at stencils and then I was like thinking, you know, when I, I liked block printing and I wanted to do that again, but then I was like stencils, maybe that's something that I could print, you know, obviously you can use stencils to print, duh. Um, and then I was like, what if I bleached with the stencils? And then I was like, well, someone has done this. Sure, you know, this is not an original thought, even though I haven't seen it done. So I looked it up and of course, yeah, and it looks so easy. And, you know, I'm going to give it a go. So I thrifted a pair of jeans. They're men's jeans. Like. They look like some old farmer guy's jeans. What was I talking about? We're bleaching a pair of pants. So I got, you know, I'll show you all the materials when I go in. And we're just going to do it. I have the stencil. I have the jeans. I don't think it's going to be difficult. But I could be wrong. I got to go buy some bleach. All right. Well, come on. We're going to get the bleach. Okay, slugs. Here are the pants. There. We got big, big ass pockets. A place for my hammer. It's very important. I can't decide if I want to turn them into shorts or if I just want to crop them. I'm leaning towards just cropping them because I like for my pants to kind of hit where the tops of my boots are. And I, I don't want to like hem them or anything. I want them to be kind of distressed at the bottom. I think I would like that. So there's little pockets over here. I want to like put something on the pocket there. I'm I'm leaning towards cropping it. However, I changed my mind at the last minute. Quite often, and I just kind of go with the flow. That's how I live. So, they might be shorts. They might be cropped, or I might just leave them the fuck alone. It's hard to tell. I gotta, like, bedazzle a hammer, carry it around. Wouldn't that be cool? It, it would be something. Okay, let's do this, slugs. Slugs, we're here in my living room where I smoke weed and watch the mighty boosh and do craft projects. Here's my big old pants. And uh, we're going to bleach on them. We've, we've discussed this. Show me what you're working with. Here's what we're working with. Here's my jeans. You've seen them. You saw the hammer loop. I'm gonna bedazzle a hammer. Mark my words. Regular scent, low splash bleach. Is it the right bleach? Are there other bleaches? Don't ask me. I am fully unaware. I'm gonna put my bleach in this cracker barrel takeout container. Beautiful. We love her. Chicken dumplings. Sweet tea. How do you, what is a sponge? I love the way British people say sponge. Don't you? Just a regular old sponge guy. I'm just gonna. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I have this guy that cuts fabric. 
or um, if I crop them. I'm still undecided. You know, I don't really, I don't really want things to be perfect or have like, per, you know, I'm not super interested in that look. I'm quite chaotic. I'm coming from a chaotic place all the time. So I'm not worried if I end up cutting off the design later. So I'm going to wait because I still don't know. I'm, I'm thinking just crop. I'm thinking crop the jeans. I have gloves because I have sensitive fingies. I don't want to get bleach on them. I was so unhinged in my 20s. Well, for, forever unhinged, truly. I've always sort of cut my own hair and dyed my own hair. I didn't wear gloves. I used to just very much so use my hands to dye my hair without gloves on. With bleach. I, I would bleach my hair without gloves on. At like 3 o'clock in the morning, listening to Dashboard Confessional, crying, bleaching my hair with no gloves on. You know, that was, that was just part of my journey, okay? But I'm, I've grown as a person. I don't bleach my hair at 3 o'clock in the morning with no gloves on anymore. My hands would, like, burn. And I was just like, the pain. I deserve the pain. You know, just real angsty stuff. All that to say, I'm going to wear some gloves. I've decided officially I'm going to use this stencil. It is roses on a vine. And then there's also this little rose. Then I also bought this one that is just like three different roses. Okay, so we're going to use this. So what I want to do officially is down the front, starting at the pocket, these little pockets and this little rose on the end will fit perfect on this little pocket. So I really want to put two roses on the pocket, the back pockets. And I'm thinking, since it's a large and in charge situation, I have this rose um, that I want to put on there on each pocket. So all I'm doing is I'm going to put bleach in this cracker barrel container. I have a damp sponge. I'm going to dab it in the bleach. I'm going to tape the stencil down and I'm just going to dab the bleach on the stencil. And then you gotta wait five minutes and then it'll bleach it for you. It's uh it sounds too easy, which worries me, but also excites me. I like easy things. I'll be honest, I don't wanna do hard stuff. I thought I gotta make my own stencil or this is not cool. And that is absolutely absurd. I don't have to make my own stencil. This exists and it was only $2. It's fine. Use help. Accept help. That's what I've been learning. I don't have to do everything from scratch. Like there's, there's a lot of assistance in this world if you're willing to use it. Let's just fucking do it. We're just going to do it. We're just going to jump right in. I'm going to cut my stencils so that they're separate. Don't question me. And these, I'm not going to use these. This one has a little heart though. Why do I like heart things so much? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? The heart rose stencil threw me into some sort of crisis. So 
Welcome to my life. Do you think I should put something behind it? I'm going to say no to doing extra steps. That's what I'm going to say. Little rose, just a little rose. And tape. We have forgotten the tape. Should I change my clothes? That's a valid question. No. I'm not gonna. Do you shake bleach? I don't, you know, I don't fuck with bleach a lot. I'm pouring some bleach into this. Hopefully that's good. And, you know, if we need more, it's readily available. We're taping this guy down. Do we line it up? Bitch, I'll tell you what. I don't know officially. And that's okay. I'm, you know, like I said, I have zero interest in perfection. I don't care. And I won't care. Ever. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. This is not a tutorial. As you may know, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just some guy bleaching some roses on some other guy's jeans. So this is, I, I damped it a little bit. I just felt like that was a good idea. You, you can't see that, I would assume. I'm just going to gently dip. We're going to just do it. I forgot my gloves. Shit. I don't think I need gloves. Here's why. I didn't touch the bleach at all. Did I? Well, all right. So in the back pockets. Oh, my dilemma. I forgot about my heart dilemma. Do I want? Oh, that's so cute. But this one matches these. I just realized, you know, I only have one of each stencil, so. Well, wait, I don't have to leave the stencil on there. I'm going to use this one for the back pocket. Ooh, oh, I like that idea. Like it's on the outside, and I can put it on the outside inverted on the other side. Inverted? I think that's right. That sounds like the right word. Okay, I think it's starting to come through. I know you can't see it. I'm questioning if I can actually see it. You know what? I'm going to wait and see how this rose turns out. I feel good about it. Know that. We're going to wait, but I do have this one taped up. And this one is starting... I don't know. Can you see it? It's right here. I need, I'm going to wait so I'll know if I need to put more bleach. Uh, I, As I suspected, it would not be very crisp, which is totally fine. We're going to keep going. I think it's going to be cool regardless. I mean, I think, I think it's pretty cool. It's interesting and that, you know, it's just the little one. Maybe, you know, we'll see what happens with this one. And, you know, whatever happens, I'm going to love them and I'm going to wear them. Even if they're like weird blown out roses that just look like blobs. I'm, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> we don't give up. And this is a different stencil. And maybe I'll have a better technique this time. But this time I'm going to wear my gloves. I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I'm just using the wrong kind of sponge. Maybe I need like a 
one of those ones on the stick. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take this stencil off. And I need to wash it off because I want to flip it over on this side so they're, you know. Washing the stencil off. It's kind of, is it kind of beautiful? This, down the front. So this top one it is not amazing, but this bottom one turned out so good. I don't feel like doing the other side because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave just the one side. Here's this one. Oh, this one, honestly, it's pretty okay. This one, she's, you know, okay. And that one, I think, um, it's an experiment. Yeah, and maybe it's not perfect, but it is kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to pop them on. You know what? I am going to crop them. I am cropping them, and then I'm going to pop them on, and we'll, we'll look at them. Slugs. Are you ready for the reveal? It's fine. I think it's fine. So, you know, don't judge me too harshly. This is my very first time doing this. You know what? They look, they're interesting. They gave some flair and some pizzazz to the pants. You know. But, 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 but. But, 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 doing it. I love it. I think it's fine. Get out of here, tree. Come on. Tree. You know, I think it gave my new jeans some pizzazz, and I'm excited about them. I think they're pretty cute. Is it like, you know, perfect? Hell no, nah, slug. It's not perfect. Nothing is. And that's okay. I'm happy I did it, and I had fun doing it, and I got bleach on my little fingies, and they kind of burn, and that's okay. Do you think it's cool? Would you do it? Are you going to try it? It's very easy. I think um, use a sponge that is not the sponge I used. I think that would be my suggestion. Just follow your heart. That's what I do with crafts. I just follow my heart. And then, you know, what will be, will be. Thanks so much for being here, slugs. And going with me on this thrift flip journey. I'm excited about these pants. I, you know, I've been wanting a new pair of jeans. Something in the men's realm. Because all my jeans are women's. I've never found a pair of men's jeans that really suited me. And I think that these do. And... You know, I'm happy with them. I like how I cropped them. I think it's cute. It looks good with my boots. If you made it to the end of a video, you're an official slug. So you might as well subscribe. And if you're feeling froggy, you can like this video. And that helps me tremendously. And next week, I think we'll go thrifting. We'll get back in the thrift. 
because that's that's where our hearts are right and that's why you're here our hearts live in the thrift so i hope the thrift gods bless you and that you have a really good week love you so much and i'll see you next week slugs bye